Kasi 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 mo ba yung rockstar? Kasi kasi mo ba yung superstar? Yo, what's up? In Dungazin, what's up here? I'm Amtata and this is the Third Draft Podcast. You're probably wondering, hey, what's this? Basically, we are going to be interviewing some of your favorite content creators. So this is a podcast about creators for creators. And I'm not writing you one. I have the one and only, Matt. <laughs> Like, I feel like I should say graphic designer, Mr. Trending oh, on TikTok. Yeah. Oh. He got over 100k likes on one of his mayonnaise TikTok. I think it was the mayonnaise. Okay. Yeah. Ah, you know, just doing Super my star. thing. Just <laughs> making mayonnaise for likes, you know, living my life. But welcome to the third draft podcast. Yes. And on this show, we discuss all things creative yes. all things influencer driven all things trending. coming trending yes. rising and we just cover it all okay so um, it's not just you and me you know it's not just i know i'm pretty and he's like trending but we have people yeah, that are actually superstars <laughs> <laughs> People that are cool, people that are great, people that are have hey, the followers, eh? Mm-hmm. But it's a the solo date with two cups. Can <laughs> 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 tell us who's our first guest, Mesh? Our first guest is the one and only, the rich Makoti Babalo. Quarry. Is that how I say yes, it? Yes, perfect. Oh, I'm glad I said it correctly. Oh my goodness. Perfect. And you're from Free State. I'm originally from Free State, but I'm based in Durban currently. Oh wow. Yeah. So wait, in Free State, Labua, ne? Labua. Yes, Labua indeed. Yo, but you in Durban? Yes. Laba kuluma kon. Yebo. How's that? Hey, ya kuluma nami band like so team because like it's not like it was a boo nami like because whenever you boo in Durban, but time you want to come to Free State. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either you you speak or you kuluma, but most times you you end up kulumering when you don't wanna. Because mm. yeah. also when you speak, I assume they look at you funny. Yeah, like you get treated differently. No, but like it's actually it's actually not as bad as people make it out to be. Okay, you know, um, I think also with 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 like twana so to baby people, we adjust to like Zulu. So most of the time, even if it's broken, mm. we'll end up speaking Zulu. So it's not like. They, there's this hectic tribalism that is nah nah it's, they, like it's we're just living life together. We have to learn to adapt as mm. two people. We stick together. Yeah. Okay, I don't like. <laughs> I really don't. Being the only Zulu person at the table. No, eh? I'm Zulu by default. By default. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I live in KZN. Yeah, you don't have a choice but to be Zulu. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. No skins and jalo. <laughs> 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 okay, let's let's start from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You stay in Durban. Mm-hmm. to Durban. From Free State to Durban, how did that happen? Well, actually it was Free State, Pretoria, Durban. Oh, wow. So like we, we were in Pretoria for like the first four years of my life. Then my mom got a job in Durban and then I went with her. Then my dad joined us a bit later. And then we've just been there ever since. Really, and then my brother was born in Durban, so he's a proper Durbanite. Like he can't even. At least I can say, "Hore," like, "No, yeah, go hike free state," because I was born in Bloom, so that's my home. Mm. But like my brother's like born bred Durban, um, and yeah, I think that's why I also don't feel like the hectic, like oh, the Zulu people are scary because like I've been there since I was a kiddo. Mm. So yeah. Wow, mm. and does your family still speak Zulu in Durban? Yeah, full time. Oh wow. Full time, like at home, we speak Swana. And, 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 yeah. Oh, that's the way. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been in Durban now? Like, 18 years. Yeah. That's home home. That's home home. Yeah, it's home Yeah. Home. Okay. 18 years. And that's why people are always shocked when I, when I speak full Twana in my videos. They're like, How? Um, can do you hear in Durban? I'm like, Yeah. But when did you move here? And I'm like, 2004. They're like, when? 2004. And they're like, oh, but you, sp- you still speak your language in its entirety. And I'm like, yeah. I don't speak Zulu fully, though. I think that's why I still speak my home language. Because I was like, no, wait, your turn. Let me grow and learn my language. Then I'll learn you at a later stage. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 
Wow. Mm-hmm. And then how did your upbringing in Tabanchu or even in Durban, mm-hmm. how did that affect or rather um, contribute to the making of your humor and the Rich Makoti character? Um, I think it's just exposure, especially mm-hmm. in Tabanchu because um, Tabanchu is a small town. So you do get the answer that are like Rich Makoti, they come from the bigger towns to show off their wealth. And we're all just there like, okay you know um so i think that's where i i i I grab the humor from for rich mac from just being really dramatic and thinking that everybody's like all eyes on you and then people are really just like okay like mapula mapula doesn't have mom k at all mapula is like mapula is literally counting the days for this woman to go home and mom k is like i'm not moving um yeah like it's really just experience also like watching tv we see those aunts on tv you know, we have like the real housewives of wherever and we see how they act. So mm. I think that's where I kind of get my, my character from. Wow. And also J manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, girl, are you rich? How's your bank account? Uh, it, is, it is not looking good, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking grand. So manifesting, manifesting a love that's going to buy me all these cars cash and all these houses mm. cash. Um, and also me having my own money that I, because, you know, it's equality, mm. what not, and what. So you 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 can rather say um you aspire to be that rich Makoti. Mm. Oh, don't we all? Mm. Yeah, oh, we're living our best all. life. Stronger, like yo guys. I think she gets a new range like every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um I don't think uh personality wise I'm gonna be like rich Mac because she is. A lot, like mm. she's a lot, but like Jay, just a lavish life, upgrading her family's home, mm. you know, like she buys them like all these fancy brands and whatnot. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I love that. You know what's so interesting is that when I first came across your content, mm-hmm. you were like doing these reels or not reels, but like TikToks, mm-hmm. where you were speaking about love and just mm. speaking about you know what you've been through, and I was like, oh, girl, I was so romanticized being loved like this you mm. know and then jiggy jiggy solo dates with two cups <laughs> <laughs> like that always threw me off like i'm like okay what's going on mm-hmm. was that you also manifesting yeah yo listen yes okay. and it's so hectic i always say it as well that i can't believe i would speak in jay mm. and something would come to my mind and be like mm, this is the kind of love i think of and dream of and then the universe was like Got you, you know, got you. Um, so yeah, and it the journey also started from when I kind of left this toxic relationship and I went and vented on TikTok and people were like, "Hey, don't delete this." And I was like, "Okay, okay, cool." Because we related, we're like, yeah. barely. Mm. Mm. So then, literally every step of 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 whatever, like any thought, I'm not a relationship expert, dog. I'm 22. Like, what do I know? This is literally my personal experience and and how I see love. Um, so. Yeah, it was also just me speaking it out to the universe, and the universe was like, "Got you, girl. got you." Um, so yeah, thanks. I also want to experience it. Speak it out. Just, no, just... I, I'll give you the vibes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when I start doing those those videos, just now I was inspired by you. I think also just seeing those kind of videos. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel like that pressure to like speak about love in such a beautiful manner now, like? <sighs> Do you feel like you always have to romanticize the the purity <laughs> and the goodness, the goodness and of love? I think know? it's also because no, I don't feel pressure necessarily because I genuinely believe in love. Mm. Like I genuinely like even if it doesn't work with with this one, it's like okay, fine, didn't work. Dust yourself off, okay, go back into the game. You know, like I'm never gonna stop um, believing in love. So I think whenever I speak about love, it's it's genuinely romanticized and, mm. and, and, and sensationalized and whatnot. Um but in terms of pressure, I don't I don't let TikTok pressure me to feel like I need to do anything. I know contrary to, to the popular belief of braces, whatever. But um <laughs> <laughs> um I don't think I'll like I'll let TikTok pressure me because if I feel like I don't want to do a specific type of content now then I won't do it. I'll do it when I'm ready to do it again. You know? Um with the love posts um, with the Rich Mac even like I haven't done a Rich Mac video in a while and people are like I hey, will we miss her and I'm like she'll she'll come back but right now I'm kind of just 
chilling. I'm having fun with other types of content. There's so much to explore on TikTok. I can't confine myself to this one specific type of content, you know? Yes. So, yeah. Um, are there any content creators that you follow? You're like, oh, I love this video so much. I wish I'm the one who created this. Or you're like, oh, I'd love to recreate uh, this. Oh no, I I I I I because that's now creating unnecessary competition for myself. I can enjoy someone's content mm. as their content, mm -hmm. and I enjoy my content as my content, as fun as Abandu. Yes, you know mm. we can't have the same brain, mm. and we don't have the same target market. Mm. Yes, you know, that's true. but in terms of content uh, creators that I feel like now I need them to blow ups. Mm. Primo, guys. Yes. Ah! Yes, Primo. Oh. Hi, guys, Primo. Yes. He's killing it. Primo. Absolutely. Oh. Primo, guys. It makes me mad every time I watch his TikToks and there's no blue tick, even though the blue tick doesn't, it's not really like, mm. you know. But like, I feel like, but to respect you more in JA when you have it. Yeah. Yes, they do. Once they see a blue tick, they're yeah. like, okay, yeah. this is that. Account. When, like, for example, you're searching and you see a search list of. The same I name, but you see like a blue tick. Seventeen babalos on TikTok yes. now, like it's so exact. <laughs> Mare Primo, guys, and a, and one thing I'll, I I I because I I follow him also outside of TikTok is that mm. he's he's doing well for himself as well outside of TikTok. Mm. Mm. You know, which is which is dope, but he he still needs his flowers for TikTok. Hey 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 hey. So what are you exploring with at the moment <clears throat> on TikTok? Um, on TikTok, nothing really, Jay. Like, I, 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 TikTok really, I use it as, as a place to just speak, mm. you know, you know, when something just comes to your mind and you're like, I, am I the only one who's thinking this right now? Let me see. And you put on TikTok and then people are like, actually, yeah. And you're like, oh, okay. Such a random thought. Why are you guys thinking about that? But, um, so I'm just exploring chatting, you know, um, voiceovers, doing doing music stuff. Um and Jay, I feel like because of of the kind of body positivity thing that happens, me posting and and, and just being okay and being happy with myself, mm. it it aids someone in a way. So I'd never stop posting, even when I don't feel like posting. But in Jay, fashion inspo, even though I'm not like a fashionista, but people are always like, yo, you dress really well for your body. So whatever I'm wearing that day, if I feel that outfit, I'll post it, you know, things like that. Mm. Um, kind of just also giving my brain a break from the content TV stuff, like with the Rich Mac and like the love quotes that I do. Mm. Uh, just letting myself play like other people play on TikTok, mm. you know. Because I understand also because you can burn out from that. Yeah, you can. All the time you're writing scripts and actually running a whole production Ooh, on your own. On my own, dog. It's me you and my ring light. It's, like, it's just me and my ring light. That's broken. Come on, Ajay. Like, kick your ass It's an upgrade now. You know, I need to get a new ring light, dog. Like, um, it's just a lot. The pressure. So, yeah. Mm. Sure. Uh -uh. Story of my life too, chair. Story of it's my take, life. It's take. And then there's also like... um campaigns you know like i'm working with brands on the side and they want their videos as well so um i need to think of content for them something that i've not done before um get them in by the deadline mm. so i think one thing that our viewers should understand is that sometimes we really just are living you know many think i think they think that tiktok is just what we do and valid because we we offered them our our mm -hmm. content mm -hmm. so now they're expecting it from us so now when we keep quiet they're like oh girly where's this and this so mm -hmm. i just enjoy a second to realize that as much as i'm also not always on tiktok neither is baba you know she's also doing her own thing she's also spending time with family yo like yes. like you know i'm also just taking a breather um, i'm exploring other careers outside of tiktok because mm -hmm. tiktok miss doesn't pay me Hey, Bo, you would never say. <laughs> There's this perception that once you've hit over a certain number of followers, yeah, people always think that when you verify, yeah, you verified mm -hmm. as soon as you get verified, TikTok doesn't pay us. There's no creators fund in Africa yet, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, so I need to make my money off the app as well. 
Yes, you, you know, have to. Mm. you know, um, it's all about having multiple streams of income because this creative industry, hey, listen, when you have a dry season, it's dry. It's dry. <laughs> a dry season is dry. <laughs> it's dry. A dry season can make you pack up your your apartment and go back home until overnight, mm. and then, you know. So it's about like just exploring, kind of figuring out my life. I've given TikTok a year. Where I'm a full time TikToker, mm-hmm. I think now it's, I'm taking my time back. But I'm not neglecting TikTok. No, no, yes. I can never. TikTok made me. Mm. I can't take that away from it. Absolutely. I can't take that away from my followers. I'll never take my followers for granted. I'm nothing without them. But mm. they also need to now let me grow a little bit as well. Let me go from the clutches a little bit. Mm. You know, um, then I can. I feel I can. I can do more for them once they let me do that. Yeah. Do you no. ever see yourself like as a full time content creator? <clears throat> yes. Um but like content in other ways. Okay. You know. Not just TikTok. Not just TikTok. One day having a YouTube channel? Uh, yeah. Yes, definitely. It is it does have to come. I think YouTube is is is, is tricky because I need to curate it. I can't just like on TikTok, even now I can put my phone up and say whatever and post it and it's it's content for, for TikTok. But YouTube needs to be curated. Also, YouTube, I feel like it's so condensed with a lot of the same things. So I don't want to go in there with the same thing. Yeah, Makeup. Mm. Makeup vlogs. Once you've watched one, you've Welcome watched Welcome back to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> and Q&As. Q&As. Meanwhile, they're asking themselves those questions. Yeah, yeah, boy, Hey. Here you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah going into music because I do sing oh, yeah. here and there Ooh. I do I do have a bit of a, a I can hold a melody I can hold a tune <laughs> yes, I'm a girl. so do you have some music out at the moment I, or some I, music I, I, I have a feature with um, Stop and Snare but I'm not necessarily singing All right. you know so I'm hoping to get into especially house I don't want to do I'm a piano I feel like I'm a piano hey, controversial yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Oh. controversial what I'm about to say but it's an easy way in Okay. It honestly is. You know, um, because Jay, like I think of the way Jay makes us feel nice as a country. Whenever there's a new song, we yeah. want to listen to it. I want something that's going to be almost timeless. So I feel like house, the deep yeah. house, house root. Um, because there's still songs that that our parents used to groove to, that when they play at groove, even us, we're like, yo, whisper to me, baby. You know, we're there, we're there, you know? You know, yeah, especially this move. <laughs> <laughs> especially this move. So um, that's that's the route that I want to explore. But like, I'm, I'm still a newbie in the game. I'm not rushing myself at all. I'm still young. Mm-hmm. I can change my career. At, any, at some point, I can be like, you know what, guys? I want to be an accountant, and that's fine. You know? Um, but I enjoy the the creative space. I think it's because it's what I studied. I did drama at AFTA. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. So like, whenever whenever you see me on screen, guys, and it will happen. Don't don't put me under that thing. Now they're only hiring influencers. No, I I studied for four years. Yes. Need <laughs> degree. Need degree. You're qualified. Sure. Really honest. You're not so, playing. I'm not playing. So acting is definitely my first love, and it is something that I want to explore as well. Mm. Um, but again, I'm not rushing. I'm letting everything. I've one thing I enjoy about my pro my progress is that it happened organically. It just mm. happened, you know. So. Mm. I'm gonna let it continue do what it does. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that is amazing. I have it's a very random question, but are you happy in this current stage of your life? Yeah. I really am. Hmm. I didn't expect it so soon. Mm-hmm. You know. So it is nerve wracking, of course, mm-hmm. because it's like you're okay. Things are happening quick. But I'm happy, you know. Yeah. Although there are there are a lot of Hey, the internet can be dark, very dark, and I don't think people love how dark it can be. Even the ones that are making it dark, I don't think they love the impact that they have on us. Mm. But the good does outweigh outweigh the bad. So I let myself have my have my moments where I'm like, Mariki <laughs> Yang Yang, and then um, that's myself often come back stronger. I understand how that feels because sometimes you can get a hundred thousand good comments. But that one bad one, but that one bad whoa, one will stick listen, with you. Listen, it will sit you down, dog. You'll literally sit and be like, hi, boo. Me. How, and I you're like, me. how do you type that? Like, you typed it and you press send. You know? Yes. Like, I always wonder, how, how, you know? It's this thing, 
it's like it's like the public owns <coughs> us. Mm-hmm. You know, there's another sense of entitlement, a hectic one. I don't know what level it is. Um, so because I put myself on the platform, they can do whatever they want with me. And it's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. I can fight it and fight it and fight it. I can cry and cry and cry and say, hey, 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 hey. explain myself however many times I want to. But as for as long as I've put myself on their platform, mm. they can do whatever they want with me. Mm. And that's up to me how I deal with it. Mm. You know, I, I block, I delete, I report where I can. Um, I take time off because it does hit you mentally, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I stop, then they win. Can't have that happen. Still want to see the rich Magodi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. If I stop, then they win, and uh, that uh, is impossible, unfortunately. Yeah, but Babalo, thank you so yeah. much for coming through. Thank you for having We've me. We've enjoyed having you here Your as our guest. first guest. <laughs> our first guest. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! La <laughs> 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 oh <my God. laughs> Um, you are incredible. Thank you, you are amazing. And you're so young. I'm not I that jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but I see Kalapo because you are just doing the things to be done. Thank you, thank you. And I'm one of those girls who's just like, yes, you living your life mm-hmm. inspires me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're out. Bye. We out. <laughs>